About 22 minutes now before the hour, going to turn our attention back to Washington. Very interesting developments to keep an eye on this week. The Democratic-led D.C. City Council trying to claw back a controversial bill that would ease up on the district's criminal code. The Senate says the vote will happen. It's too late to pull it back. The council chairman in D.C. trying to do just that and explaining his move on Monday. I don't know that that will uh, stop the uh, Senate Republicans, but uh, our position is that the, um, the bill is not before Congress any longer. Well, so let's bring in Democratic West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin. I guess the issues with Congress, it's really not Republicans in Congress. Good morning, sir, and thank you for your time, Senator. Nice Good to morning. have you. Hey, Bill, good to be with you. How many Democratic senators will vote with Republicans this week on this bill? Well, I would like to think quite a few. Uh, I was the first one to just automatically, just when they asked the question to me a couple weeks ago, without even thinking, I knew how West Virginians and how I could go home and explain voting uh, to reject what the uh, D.C. Uh, uh, what the D.C. Council had done, and uh, and then I understand there's more than last week, Tuesday uh, or Thursday, I think the president came and spoke to the caucus, and he said that he uh, would sign the CRA being sent. So that changed the whole dynamic. Sure did. And now right? you have now yeah, yeah now you have the council. But you know basically, I would encourage every senator and every congressperson to vote their own convictions, can vote their commitments. Don't wait. Don't look for your leaders of any party, whether it be Democrat or Republican, to kind of tell you how you should vote or what they want you to do. If you can go home and explain it, which is my, my litmus test is, Bill, if I can go home to West Virginia and explain it, then I'm going to vote for it. And if I can't explain it, I'll vote against it. It's e pretty easy to say we are not going to be light on serious crimes. We yeah, are not Senator, going to Senator, do you offenders. think, I, I mean, I was, Dick Durbin says half of the Democratic caucus are going to vote with Republicans. Half. That's, and I'm, it, that's in Washington, D.C. in 2023. I'm surprised that all of them aren't. Okay, well, I'm let, surprised let's see that everybody's what happens not. when the vote goes down. On yeah. the House side, you had 31 House Democrats vote with Republicans. But that sure. was before the president said he wasn't going to veto it. You, know, yeah. I, you wonder, you know, Nancy Pelosi was not happy about that. She made that known on Friday afternoon. You know, had he made that known before, maybe, maybe you get House Democrats, half of them, to vote with Republicans. Point is on this, do you see this as a moment of sea change when crime in America is off the hook in major American cities? I think people are expecting just common sense. Make a decision based on common sense. Crime is horrible in every area of this country. The border is in a horrible shape. We've got to control the border. You just talked about what happened in Mexico, continues to it. I always said this, why doesn't Mexico put a wall on their southern border, which is much narrower, and they can control it much better, and then let's build that relationship with Mexico, what we can control. The fentanyl and all the things that move through, we've got to get a better control. And really, um, you know, Mexico should be a favored nation with us, as Canada has been without being concerned about what damage they're letting come through to do to us. So these are things that we could work on, and trade is the way to do that. Yeah. But uh, let me bring this thing's out of control, this. Bill. And back to the issue of crime. Lori yeah. Lightfoot, was that a canary in the coal mine, do you think? Because four, year, so. four years ago, she won talking about police reform. And four years later, you saw what happened in the city of Chicago. Crime went through well, the, the only, the only, the only police reform that we need is basically supporting our policemen much better, educating them much better, and giving them the resources to do a much better job in attracting quality people. That's what we should be doing for our police force around the country. Not saying you're going to basically restrict them from what they're able to have or cut back because we see what happens and crime runs rampant. And the cities that have adopted that type of mentality are going to pay the price for it. Yeah. Uh, last question. I know you want to talk about the debt and the budget. You, you yeah. believe the debt limit should be raised? Uh, we're, we're going to see, have to we're going to see the president's budget in two days. What part of this budget are you willing to cut? Well, here's the first thing, Bill. First of all, the debt, re the debt has to be raised. We cannot default on the sins of the past, no matter how we spent and overspent. For 21 years in a row, we have spent more than we've taken in. There's no one can survive. You can't survive. Your business can't survive. No one can survive because you got nobody gives you any credit and they shut you down. That will eventually happen if we don't change our ways. Now everyone says, what are you going to cut? Well, first of all, can't you just look in the last 10 years how we have amassed so much debt so quickly? Can't we at least look and say, hey, how come we're basically spending twice as much as we were 10 years ago? And why are we running deficits continuously? Can't we look at that 
But no, they want to scare the bejesus out of people thinking they're going to cut Social Security and Medicare, which is the lifeline to so many West Virginians and people around the country. That is something we've taken off the table. Let's look at everything else that basically we should be looking at because of the extreme uh, advancement okay. of how much money we're spending. Yeah, time to get after it. I know you agree with that. The yep. president's going to say tax the rich, but I tell you, you're going to have to tax just about every person on this planet every, to take care you know, of the money. Everybody's got to pay their fair share. Everybody's got to pay their fair share, Bill. Everybody's got to pay fair Senator, share. Senator, thank you for your time. Please come back soon. Thanks, Bill. Okay. Joe Good Manchin. to be with you. Thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.